So if we want to take this bolt and this nut, and we want to make it an assembly where it revolves within, the first thing we need to do is we need to separate these two bodies into two separate components. So I'm going to go to Create, New Component, and I'm going to select From Bodies, and I'm going to select both bodies. And hit OK. Alternatively, if I'm not mistaken, we can go into Bodies, and we can just right-click on the body and say Create Component From Body. And so now that is a component. We can do the same thing with Body, too. We can just go to Create Component From Body. And so now I have two components here that do two different things. I'm going to go ahead and uh, it doesn't matter which one we ground. I'm going to ground the bottom one. Which one's that? That's uh, component one. So I'm going to, that's for me. I'm, you know, I can even rename this for myself if I want. I'm going to call this one the nut and I'm going to call the other one the bolt. I'm going to ground the nut. It doesn't matter which one you ground. You just need one of them grounded. Whichever one is grounded, I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, let's say, capture position. No, I want to, I'm going to hit continue for hit capture position. It'll leave it at the position it's currently at. I'm going to hit continue to move it or make sure it's back at the position it started at. So now the nut won't move, the bolt will. And again, it doesn't matter which one you ground. You just want one grounded so they don't both move. Only one moves and the other stays still. So now that I've got it grounded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to assemble. I'm going to find my joint tool. I'm going to again hit, I can hit capture position now if I want. If I hit capture position, it just leaves it where it is. If I hit continue, it moves it back to its original spot. I want to put this bottom in this piece. Now I'm going to hover. For whatever reason, when I hover over these other corners, I can't find the center very easily. I want it to magnetize to the center. You see when I hover over this one, for whatever reason, it allows me to magnetize to the center. You'll see how it clicks to the center. Let me zoom in so we can see what I'm talking about. You'll see how the center highlights. That's what I want. I want it to magnetize to the center. And then I want to change my motion. I don't want it to be a rigid. I don't want it to be a, a revolve is kind of cool. But what you can do is you can go to what's called cylindrical. And this gives you two. It allows it to rotate and move up and down. I'm going to go back to position, make sure it's good. Um, and I want to hit OK. And so now, if you notice, this can slide up and down, but it can also spin. But I want it to spin and go up and down. And I also want to make sure that it doesn't leave the nut. I want it to stay at that position. So let me go back to my current position. I'm going to go find my joint. I'm going to go to uh, the cylinder. I want to go to edit joint limits. And I'm going to have to play around with it just a little bit. I don't want to give it a rest. Giving it a rest tells it to always go back to this previous position. It kind of gives it a spring effect. I don't want it to have a spring effect. I do want to give it, I don't, and I also don't want to mess with the rotate. I want to change the joint limits of the slide, by the way. And so I'm going to go to slide and I want to go to, let's say, um, I want the, what, minimum to go down. So how much do I want it to go down? Well, maybe it'll go down, uh, well, I don't know, way one inch. What happens if I slide down one inch? It looks like if I slide it down one inch, it slides it down a little bit. I want it to go a little bit more than that. Let's say it goes down three inches and maybe 3.5. And we don't have to make it go all the way to the bottom if we don't want. We can go a little bit for 3.75. Okay, it looks like four it is. And that's just to soothe my OCD. Again, you don't have to make it go all the way down if you don't want to. And then what do I want the maximum to be? I want the maximum to be zero. Hit OK. And so now it shouldn't be able to, well, it looks like it can slide up and down now. So the slider's kind of messed up. Let's see if we can figure out what I did there. Let me go back to cylindrical, edit joint limits. It looks like when I messed with the slide, when I changed the uh, maximum, or maybe I just have these backwards. What happens if I make this four? Okay, it looks like that does it. And so now what? It's stuck between these two points. And so I looks like I got my minimum and my maximum backwards. And like I said, you're going to have to play with it a little bit when you do it. But now what I wanted to do is I wanted to spin and slide at the same time, like how a true bolt and nut system would work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine two individual uh, motions. I'm going to link my two motions. I'm going to go to uh, continue so it's back at the standard and it wants to know what two do I want to select. Well if you op if you notice whenever you do a cylinder it has two. It has a distance and an angle. You can open that up. I'm just going to select my cylinder and then I want to say link within the same joint. So the cylinder and the angle 
go together. I'm going to leave the angle at 360, and I'm going to play around with my distances until I have something I like. So it looks like 0.394 is not that realistic. Let's try, what happens if I do 0.1? And let me stop it and replay it. And that might be a little bit, I can hit OK and actually play with it. And what happens if I start spinning it? And it's that's kind of realistic. I like that. So as I spin it more and more, it slides up more and more. What if you want it to spin up faster? Well, then I go back and I do it again. I go to, uh, well, now I have a motion link that I created. So I'm going to go find that. I'm going to right click on it and go to edit feature. And I'm going to change it. Maybe I want it to be 0.2 instead. And I hit animate. And that, that's just a little bit too fast for me, I think. I can even go in here now and there's a way to animate the model, I think. And so there we go. And so what do I mean when I say it's clearly go it's not too realistic? You can kind of see how it's spinning a little bit too much for how much it's dropping. I don't like that. And so I can kind of play around with that last one. How do I do it? Well, I go to Motion Link. I go to Edit Feature. And let's try 0.3. Hit OK. And then I can animate the model again. And that's a little bit more realistic. I like it that way. So I'll leave it at that. Go back to, if we go over here, we can see. This one, I believe, takes us back to our previous, our original position. And as I spin it, you'll notice that it goes deeper and deeper into the nut. What if you want the nut to spin and the bolt to stay still? What I can do, I'm going to go back to my original position. What I can do is I can unground my nut by going to unground, I'm sorry, and then ground my bolt. And so now the nut is what goes up and not the bolt. And as I spin it around, it goes higher and higher. 